So I found another part to use. I said, let me just use this in the meantime. And when when I heard it, it when I heard that particular part, it it just called me because it kind of sounded painful. Yeah. It sounded painful. You know what I'm saying? And it it just made me sit there like <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was kind of like a release. It kind of felt like a release almost. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Switches and Doja. So how, how did you process that? Uh, Man, that was, um, I think the one of the biggest qualities of that song is is the sample that's in it. Man, that thing sound them guitars and stuff, man, yeah. is a beast. Yeah. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. I mean, the song is. I, I, Why did? How did you do it? How was it? I, I can ask you because you know how yeah. all how yeah, it came well, together. It was, I, you know, and I, I love, I love how it all came together because it was just like one of those like magical type of yeah type of situations. I was riding with my cousin Greg in in his car, and he was listening to this. Um, he had this like exotic cold mix CD or something that he was listening to. And one of the one of the songs on it was this uh, uh, song called "Step to You" by Step Rito, who is a Zydeco artist. Okay. And I was listening to it, and I, I loved the melody in the song. And I asked him who it was. He said, "Yeah, man, that's Step Rito." I said, "Man, you got to give me a copy of that CD, man. Mm-hmm. I think I want to sample that." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So then he burned me a copy of the CD. I took it home, and um, uh, just really just started messing with the sample, man. And I. <laughs> It, I wanted to use another part of the song, but one day when I was working on the song or when I was making the track, earlier that day, this chick I was dating at the time, it broke up with me. Wow. And it hurt me. And that makes for better music. Yeah, it hurt me. She hurt me. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna sit here on the mic and do it like I ain't never <laughs> been hurt. hurt. <laughs> it didn't and feel good. It hurt right here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't get away yeah. from that old stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah. Boy. And yeah, I was sick. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> that part, the part that I sampled, the part that I ended up using, because I couldn't. I had another part that I was using, but I couldn't get the chop just right. Yeah, the sample chop, I couldn't get it right. So I found another part to use. I said, let me just use this in the meantime. And when when I heard it, it when I heard that particular part, it it just called me because it kind of sounded painful. Yeah. It sounded painful. You know what I'm saying? And it, it just made me sit there like, <laughs> them boys, them you know boys. what I'm saying? Yeah. It was kind of like a release. It kind of felt like a release almost. Yeah. And then I, I'd actually just put it on a CD and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back to it. I'm going, I'm going to use the part that I, I wanted to use, but I ended up sending the CD off and it was really, it really was a song because Pimp said, man, put me about seven, to eight beats on a CD and send it to me. So I had all these other beats that I was like, oh, yeah, he's going to love these. He's going to love these. And it was like seven songs and I needed one more track to put on there. And Swishes and Doja was that, that was one. That was the last one. It was the last one. I was like, you know, that it's tight, but I just, I can't, I really can't hear UGK on it. On it. You know what I'm saying? And he hit you back. He hit me back. He was like, like this the one. Man, that man, that last one you got on that motherfucker, man, man, that <laughs> the hard, one, man. <laughs> so that's that's the one they ended up using, man. Yeah, that's so, the one they ended up using. When you see these guys come out like that, man, and they do what they do, uh, as far as the way the finishing touch when they come lyrically on it, man, what do you be thinking? Or what did you think at the time? You know? When I man, you see what I'm when, saying? When I, like, yeah, yeah. When I when I heard it, man, I was like, "That's why I'm the producer and they the rapper." D boy, you know go hard. And and I was like, man, I was like, when they rapped on it and I heard it, I was like, I was like, man, you got a lot to learn because you didn't even really hear them cats on that track, and here right. they are ripping it hard. And it, it was at that moment in time, man, where I was like, man. Cause I used to, what I used to do when I used to present beats to artists, I used to put like tracks on there that I think they'll sound good on. And right there is when I learned just put everything on there, on there, cause you you just don't know what somebody else is, you know what I'm saying? It's, cause that's just like me speaking for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't never know what they gonna do with what right. you give them. Right. So I get it. You can't you can't speak for nobody else and what they gonna do. You just gotta put, put it out there. Put it out there. Give it to them. And see what they come back and do what they do. 
candy on my car. car. Smoking on this chocolate. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.